Hello everyone and welcome back to Conspiracy Theories. My name is Jacob Blaha. You may have seen me before on the previous Conspiracy Theories back in the old western days. Yeehaw. Today we are going to be talking about the Conspiracy Theories about chemtrails. Now before we start off um, on this topic, a little background on chemtrails. Chemtrails are what you see in the sky that airplanes uh, kind of leave. It's like condensation. It kind of looks like trails. clouds. Yeah, like cloud trails that you see in the sky due to airplanes. Um, now the main reason people don't think that these are just, like simply water and uh, stuff like that is because chemtrails, uh, quote unquote, uh, last a long time and they're in the sky for a long time. The people that believe in this conspiracy uh, believe that there's other substances in the water mixture which makes it last longer, hinting that someone might have added some new stuff into it, which we will dive in in just a little bit. But that is the main reason why people think that there's something going on with aircrafts and it's kind of linked to the government. So the first major conspiracy theory about these chemtrails is that the government, well, people think that the government are putting um, illness and diseases in the mixture so when the planes take off and they're traveling if that's for goods or for people travel that when the, the chemtrails when the trails are let off the chemicals will fall down onto the people and it'll make them sick therefore more people go to the hospital more money to the government bada bing bada boom there we go and it's just kind of another way that people think the government's trying to rack in uh, taxpayer money they believe that illness has fallen from the sky that and diseases are put into the water mixture making people sick therefore people would go to the hospital get treatment pay money which goes to the government and they rack up a few more bucks um, now, of course, people believe that these diseases are not life-threatening, just enough to kind of push them uh, into a little bit of the hazard, like the ER or just the doctor's office. Another branch of these chemtrails are some people believe that it is actually a weather modification, therefore it can kind of control the weather. Um, now, people compare this to as when springs here and when harvests are starting to grow, they will kind of put into this certain substance into the mixture making the weather kind of change and make it rainy or if days when you need more sun because it's been gloomy out they'll put a few in there and they'll kind of change the atmosphere to make it sunny um, which will kind of like push the clouds away make them dissipate and not really show up now this conspiracy is a little bit more hard on um, proving that it's right again um, just because the atmosphere you would need so much chemicals in the atmosphere from chemtrails to make that all really happen. If you look in sometimes in the sky, you'll see tons and tons and tons of chemtrails just crossing paths uh, multiple times. And it's just like, why are all these, you know, still here, first of all? And why are all these aircrafts going around the same time. Some people believe that the chemtrails have substances that uh, lead to mind control. Again, this is a really hard um, theory to put in place and to prove that is right, but there are people out there that believe that the substances in the chemtrails will fall down on the people, making them behave one way or another. If that is to go eat more or making them simply hungry where they'll go out buy more food or simply sad and you know of course if it's me go out buy more food lastly one of the other branches that theorists believe is that it's actually the beginning of chemical warfare now this again is another hard to prove in theory because why would we be waging chemical warfare on our own country why would we want to start another civil war what's the purpose of it um people do believe that they're just testing out some of the chemical warfares on their own citizens so when they do go into war with other countries that they know that these chemicals will do its job so that's why some people believe that when these aircrafts fly by looking like a commercial airplane it might actually just be a plane full of chemicals raining down on civilians to see if it actually does work and bring sickness to the people that they can use in war. Chemical warfare is a huge thing in today's society and today's government that we are waging on other countries why not kind of put in an airplane so when you fly over your opposing countries you know you just rain chemicals down on them and it's a faster easier strategy uh, to win. Alright guys that's a 
about it for this conspiracy theories on chemtrails. Now there's so many more possibilities and theories about these, so please be sure to go look it up if you find it interesting. Tweet us at the Thunderbeat if you guys found anything else that you find interesting or what you guys want to see next on this show. We are open to all ideas. And I want to thank you guys so much again for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. And tune in every other week where we'll be posting the next Conspiracy Theories. My name is Jacob Blaha, and this is me signing out.